Everyone does agree that doing international business involves many risk and incurs lots of cost. One of the factors is the intervention of government to the business. For some expense, it may discourage the foreign investors to trade at global market. That is why the idea of free trade is introduced. One of the famous free trade zone is NAFTA. What is NAFTA stands for? Well, it is North American Free Trade Agreement. This free trade agreement was established in 1994 and was signed by Bill Clinton. There are few objectives of NAFTA to be highlighted. First, it is to enhance the investment opportunities in those countries. Second, to ensure that business in the region have access of capital investment, technologies and materials. Third, the establishment of the framework can enhance further literal, multilateral and regional cooperations. Fourth, goods and services are able to move into the markets of the partners without limitations. Fifth, Price of goods and services are to be determined by the supply or demand in those markets. Moving on to the success and failure of NAFTA. The NAFTA was supposed to expand our exports, create new jobs. But what did NAFTA do that was success and what did it do that was failure? To understand that is by understanding the relationship of Americans with avocados and shoes. Avocados is one of the most successful Mexican imports to the United States and its consumption has been exploded in the US, which going from £1 per person to £7 over 20 years. These changes create more avocado demands which make a profitable business in the United States growers as well. Besides, the United States are growing in growing corn and they ship a lot of corn to Mexico. In return, you as buy a lot of avocados from Mexico. The dark side is when both countries are equally good at making something and the only difference is that one country has a cheaper labor. After NAFTA were assigned, the changes between the US and Mexico was Mexican labor is much cheaper than US. Shoes industry in the US were heavily protected by taxes. At that time, shoes factory had like 50 to 17 percent tariff on their product. So it made like 70 percent more expensive to get the product from Mexico. Over 10 years, rule of NAFTA tariff were down to zero. Most jobs basically disappeared. Cheaper Mexican labor mean a job's good in Mexico, but changes like that affected more than manufacturing jobs. Americans didn't notice these changes, they lost their job. Was the NAFTA a success or failure? Most of them find it worse. Due to NAFTA provisions, a lot of business face positive impact in the global economy. For example, the elimination of tariffs in those regions. It gives impact to the business by lowering the cost of trading their product internationally. Therefore, more exports can be done, which ultimately maximize the return on capital or investment faster. Moreover, companies may produce their goods and services more intensively. This is due to the accessibility of capitals, materials, and also technology advancement provided by the NAFTA. As those three countries, USA, Canada, Mexico, support each other, as the competition can exist and it may decrease controversial conflict which can literally give negative image to the business and further resulted falling of share price. Two days after a controversial debate by the Donald Trump, is NAFTA still relevant to the business world? Of course, as we can see more benefits have arrived compared to the cost, one of it by the establishment of NAFTA more jobs had been created to the Mexican and Canadian, even if it is a cost to US people. However, if we look at the economic growth, the benefit to the public has overcome this is so-called small matter. The economy of US currently is 18.86 trillion compared to the loss of creating jobs to Mexican about 525 billion. Moreover, NAFTA has assisted in the improvement of competitiveness level in terms of automotive manufacturing industry. To sum up, in the advancement of global business, NAFTA plays significant role in this matter.